like, how much fun. Like, you can't have a bad time in this robe. <laughs> you can't. Hi, welcome to my gallery. Come on in. My name is Maggie and I'm the art citizen of DC. I am an artist, I'm a designer, and I'm a creative entrepreneur, proud of being from Washington, DC. And I think that art and design can change the world. Ooh, well, welcome to my colorful home. Uh, this is my gallery and my studio. This is where I work and also where I entertain, frankly. We have, um, dinner parties and book parties and all sorts of awesome events in here as well as it being a space where I show my work. In a traditional uh, case, is, is I'm a painter, I'm, um, but I'm a painter who's now moved into a lot of different media, whether that is designing spaces or working in three-dimensional um, capacity, but it is filled with color. As an artist, I say I'm a painter, but I really think that my job as an artist is to provoke people's imaginations. I paint a lot of Washington, D.C. because I'm, I'm from here and I think that I see D.C. a little bit differently than potentially the rest of the world. The energy of D.C. is actually incredibly vibrant and saturated. You know, when I think of D.C., I think of uh, overly saturated um, brains, you know, people that are like highly academic, really, really smart, really passionate. and. So I feel like my work, I hope it does a good job of telling those stories in a different way or at least allows people to express themselves a little bit differently. Would you guys like to come paint with me? Let's do it. Inspiration I think most people consider always as a positive catalyst. Like something had to be really good and then you got inspired. But I, I think inspiration comes also from sadness. It comes from challenge and adversity for better or for worse. And I think the smartest thing you can do as a creative is to figure out very quickly what you don't know and then go find other people that know it and then work with them. So this is our National Contemporary Art Museum. It's, it's just great to actually have a, a Smithsonian institution that actually is showing like street art, graffiti art, um, what people would call contemporary art now. The Barbara Kruger, for me, is one of the most inspiring. Not just because she uses texts in her work, but the way they treated this environment downstairs is like, not a lot of museums treat their spaces like this. Here for an event, there'll be cocktail hours down here and things like that, but the, the featured exhibit is usually in that little alcove. There's also a couple performance halls down there, a speaker series or something like that. And then obviously, I'm a fan of any museum shop gift store there is. Yes. <laughs> but let's go back up and you can at least get an exhibit. Um, Okay, so on this floor, we're about to go see Lori Anderson and Sam Gilliam, who I was mentioning to you outside. Both iconic American artists. The arts and entertainment and nightlife and culture scene in D.C. is as rich as the government and tech scene in DC. You just don't know it. And in the last 12 years, the like incredible growth that happened in hospitality and dining and live music and arts. And these institutions have always existed, right? But like you can play for free in DC or you can pay to play in DC. And in both cases, you're not going to have a bad time. Um, it's just a really dynamic cosmopolitan city. Like there's no reason not to play here. So we are entering Shaw, which has actually just been redistricted and is a larger neighborhood than it was even just a month ago. Um, it is incredibly rich with both hospitality, public art, and a lot of creatives not only live here but work here. And we are headed to Morris, which is one of the restaurants that uh, Swatch Room designed. And this is my business partner. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I was going to run up with you, but you were recording. I know. <laughs> 
Welcome to Morris American Bar in Shaw. Uh, I'm glad you're here because I'm, I'm proud of it as a project. This is a project that we designed as Swatch Room, but also it's in my backyard. I lived in Shaw for about seven years. It's an amazing neighborhood in DC filled with great art, great hospitality. And uh, it's a gem because you can get a little bit of history. You can get amazing cocktails here. And um, it's a great little intimate spot. Thanks for coming to see my DC. I'm gonna go get another one and you should come back and see me later. Bye.